What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna to be doing a PSA submission two-parter. So we're gonna start off inspecting the cards, two epic cards that we pulled with Leon Hart in honor of him. We're gonna do a little bit like his PSA return where you check out the card, send it in, and then put it all in one video, see what the grade is. So you guys are gonna see the grade in this video. We have two cards that we pulled with him. We have first the Injection Fairy Lily, and the Dark Magician that we pulled in that crazy video. Make sure you guys go check that one out. One of the craziest videos on my channel. Let's see what we think. These were both in great condition from what I remember, but it was in his studio, so I wasn't totally used to the lighting and stuff, so I couldn't check it out as well as I would like to. So we're gonna check it out a little bit better here. So we have Injection Fairy Lily. These are never centered from LOD, so this thing is actually decent centering. It's slightly tilted, it looks like, which what I mean by that, the surface is amazing, but the tilted part is, uh, it's the card is like the inside part. So with centering, it's that dark border is what we're talking about. The inside brownish part, it looks like it's turned a little bit like this. So you guys can see that it gets, the centering is good and then it gets a little bit worse as it goes across. And then over here, you can see the centering is a little bit wider and then it gets a little bit thinner because it's turned this way. So that kind of goes all the way around the card. So the centering is still pretty good for Legacy of Darkness. So I think we're going to at least try it. The surface is really good. There is a spot maybe in the middle where there's a little bit of like scuffing, but not much like pretty nice card. The back centering is not perfect, but it's not horrible. So I think in my prediction for this card, I think it will end up getting a nine, but I think that there is a good chance it gets a 10. So I think it's worth sending in um, it might get, still get the 9, but it does have a good chance at 10 because it's super clean. The centering is not really bad. It's just a little bit tilted, so it would be perfect centering if it wasn't tilted. So um, maybe, potentially, it could sneak by and get the 10, which is, this is a very low pop card. I'll pop the population up for PSA on the screen so you guys can see it, but that would be crazy if it got a 10. Next card, we have the big one. The Dark Magician that we pulled in the video. So let's check out the centering. Or let's check out the uh, the surface. Surface is pretty good. There is some, I don't know what's going on here. Like that white stuff in there. You guys see that? Let's try not to get it. You guys see that? It looks like it's almost like scuffed on the front a little bit. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's normal or not. This is a glossy print, so I'm not super familiar with glossy print. Um, at least Dark Magician. It's been a while since I've owned one. The centering on it is pretty good. I'd say that it is a little bit off this way. It might be a little, is this one tilted as well? It's a little bit tilted so that it comes down like this way, a little bit. But overall, pretty decent centering on the front. The back has a little bit of scuffing on it. Might have a little ding right there in the middle. Yeah, you see that? And then the centering on the back is not very good, which is normal for glossy. A lot of times, if it's if it's pretty good on the front, the, the back is off. So that's pretty normal. I think that this card, if I'm going to guess, is going to get the 9 because they've gotten super strict. I think it would have had a chance maybe like a couple years ago. But I think at this point, it's really tough to get 10. So I think it might get the, the 10 is, or the 9 as well. But it's definitely worth sending in because 9s are, are very valuable and the 10 is... It does have a chance at a 10. It has a slight chance. So we're going to send these two in, guys, and you guys will see in this video what happens with a PSA return. Maybe we'll get lucky and one of the two can get a 10. It would be crazy. It'd be awesome. Make sure you check out the original video this is from. It was insane. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Hopefully, we can get a 10, and let's cut to where we get the cards back. And we're back with the PSA return. It's been a couple of weeks since I sent it in. We're going to have the preview of what I thought we were going to get. Now we're going to see what we actually got. Dark Magician and Injection Fairy Lily are inside this box. Whew. I think I predicted nines just because I, I was being pessimistic. But now it's time to get our hopes up. This is where we get our hopes up. And then after that is when we get angry and upset. <laughs> so right now our hopes are up. Keep that in mind. We really want to pull a Gem Mint 10. I guess it's not pull, but you know, get a Gem Mint 10 on these cards. So potential... Big, big cards here. Dark Magician and Injection Fairy Lily uh, pulled in the Leonhardt video. I will flash back to that while I'm opening this so you guys don't have to watch this, but check out right now the flashbacks. I'm gonna start off with one pack. I don't know if we can possibly do that well, but we have not pulled the Injection Fairy Lily, guys. I wanna see it, I wanna so see it. So if, if there's a way to win this 
not actual pack battle. Yeah, there we go. How's it look? Oh, go over here. Yeah, I was just look on the right. Yeah, so okay. Room for our faces. Right, right. You're, you're a pro with this. All right, Spirit Ryu. We've got the Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. And... Oh, what? <laughs> First pack! First pack oh, magic! No. First pack magic! Wait, 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 wait. What? This has good scenery. Wait, really? Okay. A little bit of a fat pack. Yeah, no body shaming in this in this place here, but here we go. Well, hey, let's hope. What would look obviously blue eyes. Blue eyes is the number one card. Dark then magician's my favorite. Dark magician, red eyes, and Exodia head are all okay. very big. They're big. Well, I've pulled red eyes on the on my channel, so we'd prefer I'll one. Tell of the, you what if we pull any two. of those? I'm just gonna get really excited. Obviously, if we pull any legend, of those, uh, I, I mean, might pa eyes. I might pass out. Just saying. Um, and of course, I'm getting sleeve ready just in case. Super rares are great. Any foil is good. That and also it means that. Might actually scale the packs, which is kind of good. Maybe we can actually know what we're going to pull. Mm. May or may not happen. We'll see. All right. Kumutoko. We got some weird ones. Um, definitely glossy cards. Yeah, I noticed that yeah, one. You see that? That's the difference. Glossy looks like this. Wavy looks a little mm. different. All right. Kumutoko. It just looks really nice. Forest. Very good. I like the magic cards in the originals. They're just the nice green. I'm a big green fan. Mm -hmm. We got some green in the background as well. Skull Servant. That's pretty good. The centered He's commons, back. too. These actually are worth a little bit if they're graded. Mm hmm. Green Phantom King. Is okay, this? this is it, guys. Okay, here we go. Dark Magician has been pulled. Oh my, oh my gosh! There's the sleeve. I hit your camera. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't believe this. This is insane, man. All right, and we're back. Here we go. Let's not get any spoilers. I'm gonna try not to get any spoilers. All right, we have two cards. These were sent the Super Express level. Keep that in mind because all right, we've already seen a little bit of stuff on the back. That's not good. But Super Express level, $300 per card. Really expensive. But for these expensive cards, it's kind of worth it because I think the lowest you can send is Express for like Dark Magician. Maybe Injection Fairy Lily could go regular. But because they're so expensive, you have to send them at a more expensive rate. But they do come back faster. Super Express was the only one open until recently though. So when I actually had these, I could only send Super Express or higher. So I sent them in. $300 per card. They came back in a couple weeks, which is pretty nice. So we're going to see in this video what we got, guys. This is going to be... This is big, because Injection Fairy Lily is a low-pop card. It's pretty expensive if it gets a 10. Dark Magician from LOB First Edition. Huge card. We're just hoping for one 10. Two, we would really love. They both have a chance, so we're going to see. I don't know. I think this is Dark Magician, based on the back. And it seems like there's something on there. I hope that's the case, but... Uh, Hope that's not the case, but I hope it's on the case of the card, if you know what I'm saying. So, okay, we're going to start with Injection Fairy Lily. This, j just based on the back, I think that's, this is Injection Fairy Lily. The back looks pretty clean on this thing. Let's not ruin it here. Injection Fairy Lily, pretty good centering for Legacy of Darkness, guys. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. I'm so scared. What do you guys think it got? Let me know in the comments. Whew, this is a big one. Here we go. Mint nine. Oh, already a nine. Okay. Let's see why we think it got the nine. Ooh, that hurts a lot. Mint nine, the surface is super nice. The back centering is not great, but supposedly it's 70 30 on the back um, in terms of what you can get a 10 for. But I don't know. I I can never, I just, I don't know what's wrong with this card. Maybe the centering right here. Yeah, from like there to there, it tilts a little bit is a little bit off, but that is a pretty nice PSA 9. Unfortunate, but the big, big one's next. Maybe we can make up for it. I hope, okay, we gotta take this out and see if that this is on the card or not. Hopefully this is just on the sleeve or something. All right, there's a little bit of stuff on there. Man, there's stuff on the case again. That is, ah, uh, I hate to see that, but Oh, there's a little bit of stuff on the card, I think. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hate to see that, but okay, here we go. Let's see if we can completely cover this. We have Dark Magician. I really don't want to spoil this. Uh, the card is very, very, very nice. Very nice. I thought it had a chance at the 10. Man, there's there's junk all over the slab. Why does this keep happening? Oh, okay, let's see what it got. Oh. Mint 9, as I predicted... I knew it would. I knew it would. Unfortunately, this, let's check out the centering. The centering, maybe it's a little off. 
Ugh, oh, such a bummer. It's just impossible to grade 10s. Guys, I cannot get a 10. I, I'm pulling all these cards, and I just cannot get 10s. And then they come back with all this junk on them, which is the most disappointing part. Okay, let's see. I think I can get some of this off. Oh, this is such a rough 10. Okay, a lot of it came off, which is good, but there's still some on there. Back centering's not too good on this one. Ugh. Oh. Two nines. I was really hoping we'd get a 10 on one of these, but it's just not, it's just impossible now. It's so hard to grade 10s. Yeah, like a couple of years ago, these would, these would be 10s. But now it's just like, if it's any sort of off center or there's anything wrong with it, it's not getting a 10. So, ah, oh, that's a bummer. I'm pretty bummed out about that. I did predict it. Because I knew what to expect from PSA. They've shown me time after time recently that you, you're just not going to get a 10 if it's not completely perfect. And it seems like that is the case because we got two nines here that are both in great, fantastic, amazing shape. They're definitely mint condition, so PSA 9, mint, I guess. Oh, I don't got much else to say. I was hoping I could be excited for this one. I'm just not. I'm not excited about nines. I mean, I, I mean they're still great cards and all, but... It, you just really want to get the 10. You're just hoping for the 10. The whole time you're thinking, please get a 10. Come on, can I please get a 10? I don't remember the last 10 I graded because the last four submissions have had one card or two cards and all of them have been eight or nine. So I haven't graded a 10 in a long time. Like it's been a very long time. So it'll be nice if we ever get one again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I couldn't be happy at the end, but I was expecting it. So I'm sort of somewhat like, okay, whatever at least we didn't get eights or something crazy um i'm just not excited i'm not hyped up about it but we still got the cards back at least they're not like damaged or anything they did get some crap on the back of the dark magician but i think it's mostly on the case which is not too big of a deal but oh well maybe next time maybe next time we pull a first edition lob dark magician okay that's never gonna happen again so we're just gonna be stuck with a nine unfortunately that can go with my red eyes that got a nine as well even though that one was in much worse shape so you know it's just how it is Hope you guys at least enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more videos where I predict the grades. Uh, I'm 100% so far, 9 and 9. I got them both. Um, we could maybe do it for a bigger submission that could be fun. So that's for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it. Subscribe for more epic videos. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!